Some animals are good at keeping us company and some others are better left alone. But where do you draw the line? How do you know it's okay to have some animals at home while it's better to keep others at a distance? Is it our natural instinct or is it something else entirely? I mean, I definitely like to avoid bringing any kind of tigers home or lions because I know they could eat me. But then again, you also see reports of dogs biting and attacking humans and yet they're called man's best friend. So where is the boundary? Well, while it seems like there's an obvious limit between domesticated and wild animals, some people don't see any boundaries. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the most crazy animals people actually own. You'll be surprised to see how people have adopted animals that you never thought could live with a human. Make sure you stay tuned to find out my best pick as I'll introduce you to a very crazy animal that behaves just like a dog. But you probably would have never thought that prior to watching this video. Number 10. Tom and Duas. Coming all the way from South America, the Tom and Duas have become quite popular among people who like to own exotic pets. Surely enough, adopting one can cost you anything between 3,000 to 8,000 US dollars. Also, it might be illegal in some places, so you might want to check that out before getting too excited. These anteaters love their insects, but they'll also be happy with any beef, soft fruits, and eggs that you feed them. They don't have any teeth, but they do have very long claws that allow them to process their food. They also adore cuddles and enjoy the outdoors. You just need to set up a nice obstacle course and a little nest for them to be happy and busy during the day. That actually sounds like a pretty reasonable pet to me. Number 9. Capybaras And here's another cute pet that comes from Central and South America, the capybaras. This mammal, which is considered the largest rodent in the world, has become a very popular exotic pet. But don't let its cuteness fool you. They are very tricky pets and they require a lot of attention. Given the fact that they are naturally very social animals, they should have at least one other capybara living with them so they can be happy. Otherwise, their quality of life will be compromised and you better get a swimming pool if you don't have one. Because capybaras are semi-aquatic and they'll likely go for a swim sooner or later. I mean, you don't want to see a sad capybara, right? They need their water to stay happy. Like I mentioned earlier, they're the largest rodent alive today, so expect them to be a bit taller than 50 centimeters and they will weigh around 30 kilos. So you're gonna need a huge space if you want to enclose them. It actually sounds like a ton of work, but eh, what you gonna do? Number 8. Sugar Gliders. And here is yet another exotic pet. This one comes all the way from Australia and New Guinea. I'm talking about the Sugar Gliders. These marsupials also require a ton of care. Just like you need water for the capybaras, you need a lot of space for the sugar gliders to, well, what else? Fly. Or glide in this case. Yes, that's right. These animals like to stretch out their arms to the side and glide through the air. There's a reason why they're called sugar gliders, and these animals are also social to an extreme. So if you ever decide to adopt one, you'll actually need to take out two. If you don't, the sugar gliders will become grumpy, which will make them hard to adapt to a domesticated lifestyle. This could lead to them chewing and nipping on things. Since it is an exotic animal, it is illegal to own one in some places. And still, even if it is legal, they might require special permits to prove your government that you didn't acquire one illegally. That just sounds like a ton of obstacles just to get these cute little animals, but some people are eager to go through all that just so they can bring a pair of sugar gliders into their happy home. Number 7. Alpacas. Alright, the next animal is not necessarily exotic in the same way other animals are, and it has become quite popular in media and memes over the last couple of years, but still, it's not an animal you'd expect to see in people's home as often as others. Yes, it's the alpaca. These interesting animals are from South America and they have been good company to humans for centuries. They can grow to weigh between 45 to 90 kilos, which makes them quite heavy and they need a lot of open space and a companion for a healthy development. They are very passive animals, which makes it easy for humans to train. They are known for helping people to transport their belongings and they have a grass-based diet, which does make it easy for their owners to find food for them. They are slowly becoming popular pets out of their native South American homes and people are enjoying their company. These ones would actually be easier for you to get because they are a little less illegal than the other animals on here. Number 6. Cormorants. The world of birds is a very impressive and diverse one, and I know a lot of you probably own or have owned a bird in your life, even if it was just a small parrot or a canary. But one of the most impressive birds that people have been able to domesticate is the cormorant. 
There are even stories of French painter Henri de Toulouse Lautrec who had a comorant. They would sit and have an absinthe together, which I actually think is very interesting. I'm curious how that went, actually. I never thought about sharing a drink with my dog, let alone a bird, and I don't think that's actually legal, technically. However, this story reflects on how these birds have been company to humans throughout history. In Asia, they've been trained for a long time to be able to catch fish. And in Japan, these birds are known to stay with their adoptive family throughout their lifetime. These birds are loyal and hardworking, and that's why many people decided to adopt them. Number 5. Jeanettes. Or Ginettes. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that one. Would you ever adopt a pet with patterns on its skin similar to those of a wild cat? I would be a bit skeptical, but some people have found the Ganets to be great animals to keep at home. While their skin looks like one of those of a threatening animal, the Ganet is related to the mongoose. They can weigh between 1 to around 3 kilos, and they can be as long as 55 centimeters in length, not counting their tail. An interesting fact is that having Ganets as a pet is nothing new. They've been kept at people's homes since the Middle Ages. Their main purpose was to help humans get rid of rodents, and now they're an exotic pet but not the kind of pet that likes to snuggle. However, it has been proven that Gannets can be trained to be on a leash, and they can even use a litter box, which makes it more convenient for people to adopt them. But keep in mind, Gannets are wild animals, so they still require some free time to explore the outdoors and play. That's what keeps them healthy, after all. Number 4. Axolotl. What in the world is this animal? And who thought about adopting it as a pet? Well, this is the axolotl, a type of salamander from Mexico that is also known as the Mexican walking fish. I guess that nickname suits it well, just look at those little arms that pop out of its body. I'd say it's kinda cute, but also a bit uncommon. And yet, people find ways to bring these animals into their homes. The axolotl is an amphibian, but unlike other animals in the group, this Mexican walking fish is known to stay in the water for its whole life. For that reason, it's asked that people who adopt them take good care of the water tanks. The axolotls need water that has been properly filtered at the right temperature. And also, in case you're considering getting one, the axolotls are the kind of pet that is good for you to watch, but you should not handle it. I mean, I know fish and other animals that require water tanks are not your go-to pet when it comes to cuddles and caring, but it's strongly advised that you keep your hands off from the axolotls. Their skin is very sensitive, which is also part of the reason why they're an endangered species. It seems like the people who adopted them are helping them survive extinction, hoping they can save the species. Number 3. Fennec Foxes Did you think having a fox is non-mainstream? They're becoming more popular now, actually. But have you heard about Fennex? Now that there is a crazy animal that not many have been able to adopt. The Fennex are the smallest foxes in the world, but they're harder to pet compared to other kinds of foxes. People who do adopt them need to train them at a very young age so that they can be friendly. And yet still, it is likely that they will bite if they feel threatened. Their native habitat is in the deserts of the northern side of Africa, so you can expect a lot of outdoor play that includes running, digging, and even climbing. And again, because they're from the desert, they will always be attached to warm temperatures and a decent amount of time under the sun. Yes, it does sound like a lot of work, but are they just adorable? I can see why people would go through all the effort to keep one of these foxes at their home. Still, I wouldn't like to be around if they're ready to bite. Their teeth are so sharp that even a single play bite can really hurt and also open up a wound. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I'm showing you today is of a man and a hyena. That's hard to believe, actually. Yes, we've talked about it before, and today I have another interesting story about people who own these crazy animals. Number two, hyenas. In case you haven't watched my other videos, I want to bring back a story about a man named Kevin Richardson who got along so well with the hyenas, and that is just shocking in its own right. If you have watched the Lion King or documentaries about animals, you'll know that hyenas are not the friendliest of animals, despite the fact that they laugh a lot. And yet, Kevin managed to become part of their family after 15 years of interacting with them. Kevin's story is pretty cool, but it's actually not the only case of a human being able to get along so well with this wild animal. In Nigeria, there is a group of nomads that were able to domesticate and take control over some of these animals. They keep them chained and muzzled, and they say that the animals enjoy it. They even claim that the hyenas hug their tamers and even sit on command just like dogs do. And I don't know what can be crazier than a hyena, and I don't know what kind of crazy stuff they had to do to domesticate them. But either way, that's just impressive.
I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Burmese Python. And at the very top of the list, I have another wild pet that might surprise a lot of you. The Burmese Python. I know having snakes as pets is not uncommon or considered exotic anymore. I mean, there are plenty of people out there who I'm sure have more than just one snake in their house. For many reasons, people have found them to be fun and interesting pets to keep near them. But no pet snake compares with the Burmese Python. This Southeast Asian reptile can be very dangerous. People who are brave enough to own one need to keep them inside a strong cage at the right temperature along with its prey and even a water bath in case a snake wants to go for a quick dip inside that nice cool water. Sure, they are docile for most of the time, but once they're hungry they will even try to constrict their owners if they come near them. Also, this snake can reach a length of 7 meters which is more than 3 times the size of a human. If none of this information has any effect on you, then you might be the perfect candidate to adopt one of these snakes in the future. And those are all the crazy pets I have for you today. Would you ever adopt one of these, or do you already own a crazy pet? Let us know in the comments section below. With all that said, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.